you're absolutely right. It's it's that flow that they have. It's the speed that they start to get, and it snowballs. The momentum just keeps moving forward and forward, and we see it with a four-one win at the end. I mean, it, it's they started to keep up a little bit in the in the, the middle of the game there, but it, it still looked like a dominating uh, game from Northern Gaming. It didn't look at any point like a big turnaround was going to happen from Team Solid. Uh, so hopefully in game number two, they can start off on the right foot um, and really just quell that that speed coming out from Northern Gaming. Yeah, as soon as you get caught into that final third and just... Because all players are doing really when they get caught into that final third is they are focusing on getting rid of the ball from the current situation. They don't think about what's coming up next. Northern Gaming are the best team in the world at recognizing those situations and getting themselves immediately into the right position to um, almost always take away the ball from where you try and clear it to. If you try and do that, all you're doing is wasting boost and wasting ball time, and that is a poor touch. Ooh, Remco has a shot. Flarky waiting for that one. Is able to push that one to the side, but scary spot. When you see those backboards, that's what they used to be known for, and you know that it's still a skill set that they have. It could be a very scary spot for them. They're going to try that themselves, though. Flarky back to data. Remco says, that's our thing, boy. Get out of here. And that's going to roll towards the net. Diva will get credit for that one as it just rolls past zero defenders. Was that intentional? Diva puts this over. Remco, oh, that's not intentional. Remco was trying to go for something even more cheeky, which was the jumping air roll hitting the back of the Batmobile to try and power it in. Ends up being a pseudo fake that came in because Team Solid, they expected something to go in. And they went for a try and block onto a shot that Remco was going for. Didn't end up going coming forward, so they get the fake goal. And there it is, the first one in, in a minute of gameplay. We already see Team Solid having to pull up from behind. There's a goal to answer right now. Data trying to get a long clear here. Seeks and Flarky and net. Maestro just rushing in, seeing if he can just be a nuisance. Flarky with a long clear over to the far side to nobody. Data a little bit too far away. That will be intercepted and cleared by Remco Maestro. Trying with the finish. Good defense from Seeks. That will move back into the hands of Northern Gaming. Good job from Maestro to intercept any kind of breakout chance there and just take control of that ball. Giving Remco and Devo a chance to move back into their nets. Now chance for Remco with no one in net to put one on target. Tries to squeak it into the short side. It will get stopped out and cleared by the defense. Now Northern Gaming back into their own end. We'll have to try again, but a bad touch from Seeks will give the ball over to Devo and a chance for Remco to put one on target. We'll see if they can get a play here. Devo trying to take that one off Data, but they couldn't finish yet again. Yeah, but this is so much better here from Team Solid. Actually trying to challenge things in the middle ground rather than seeing the ball go away from them and try and reposition themselves for defense. If they do that, they're pretty much done in this matchup, but they're trying to challenge for things here and it's working out so much better because they're actually rather than seeing where the ball currently is they're actually predicting that northern gaming is going to get there first which they are for the most part so instead of trying to get to it first they're predicting where northern gaming are going to try and hit it and it's working out so much better for them well it's smart i mean if you can't beat them to the ball let them get to the ball and then take it from them afterwards it, you, that's the kind of uh, adaption that you need you have to be able to to make those decisions and say okay we know our limitations let's just utilize that knowledge to our benefit um and they're keeping up a lot closer now only one goal down with two Just minutes this. left <laughs> a little bit of a juggling show here mid game that's the uh mid-match mayhem some good time wasting if you uh, if you think yeah. you can get away with that one nil that's right well there's uh no one in net there data if you oh, win yes. that he can't maestro just pulls that one away by doing nothing and gives that one over to remco and there's another one on net with the ground pinch good control from remco to get that ball into the net as fast as possible. And we saw there the absolute lethality of being able to do decent so dribbling maneuvers. <laughs> Just took out one player with the um, fake, and that removes that player for a good 10 seconds from the entire play. That allows them to do what they want up into the opposing side of the field. And instead of going for a passing play, we already saw, I think it was uh, Remco trying to go for the demo on one of the other players, or someone was trying to go for it. So. Not only individual players coming out, but even when individual players are coming through, players on Northern Gaming are seeing what they can do. Go for demos, reposition, or just get some boost stolen away. Just always make sure you're optimizing your time. Two goals down now. Two minutes left. Still not looking that good. I mean, Northern Gaming, sure that uh, Team Solid's doing a really good job of kind of trying to counter that play, but Northern Gaming is like 
they're just taking their time. They're saying, we'll slow it down, guys. We'll pace it down if you want to wait for our touches. Uh, and a third one in, Maestro takes his own pass. Yeah, there's two problems that happen there. There's not quite enough to actually notice it. Uh, we saw Flark up on the wall, didn't get the contact that he wants. On the other side of the field, it looked like his two teammates seemed to be having a scuffle into the side wall. And that just left a completely open net. And Northern Gaming aren't going to miss those. No, you're absolutely right. And, and sitting up now with a 3-0 lead, I'm, it's looking like game number two is definitely going to be going in the hands of Northern Gaming once again. They just took <laughs> control, just making a wall of cars there. Stops out that attack. I mean, it works. And they're doing the weirdest things right now. And it's still working. That's Northern Gaming. Really is. <laughs> Northern Gaming are uh, just playing adaptive to their opponent's team styles. They are like jelly. They just mold around exactly what their opponents are doing. However, oh, wow. Ooh. Sometimes you need something solid, though, that isn't jelly. And that thing's known as the crossbar. And two what? players come in for the save onto that one. Remco gets the acknowledgement for it, and now they're just passing in front of their own net. I mean, you got you can get be confident, but that was a bit too confident there, lads. I, I think, honestly, the last minute of gameplay looked like they are fooling around a bit. Northern Gaming just looked so comfortable. They did concede, excuse me, a goal because of it. But, uh, I mean, they're just looking so comfortable at this point, and they they know that even when, uh, you mentioned before, Team Solid trying to, to adapt to, to that speed of Northern Gaming, Northern Gaming just came back and said, well, we're just going to slow it down then. And they just completely played a different game. Like, look at Devo just waiting for the mistakes to come out here. And they have the ball in the slot right now, ready for another goal. Uh, it's just incredible how Northern Gaming is able to make that mid-game adaption and, and just turn around. And we see the exact same score that we saw coming from game number one. I think the main... Well, one of the main things... There's a lot of main things when it comes to why Northern Gaming is effective as a team. But one of the main things that they can do is they're not scared to not move forward. They're happy to move the ball from left to right rather than just plowing forward as if they are being forced to go on a rail track. It allows them to open up these whips as we saw for that final goal just there. And teams have to react to that. You have to reposition yourself because you are looking at a team that knows how to play with each other using that whip. And if you don't react, you're leaving open very easy passing plays for them.